Hello everyone, welcome back in my channel. So today we are gonna talk about how to initiate a refund or request any refund for any purchase which you have done via App Store or iTunes Store or any in-app purchase like game coins or any subscription like that. So I will guide you how you can see the purchase history or whatever you have purchased using your media and purchases on Apple. Plus how to request a refund and what is the timeline and how you can request a refund for your family members of the family sharing in your Apple ID plus how, how you can see the Apple ID funds or your Apple ID balance or store credit uh, whatever you might call it on your Apple ID. So let me show you. So first you will go to uh, settings then tap on your name then you will get all these options. And all you have to click is media and purchases so what I've done is I took the screenshot because it will show my Apple ID as well so here are the screenshots so when you go to settings then tap on your name then tap on media and purchases or subscriptions so let's check the subscriptions first when you tap on subscription you can see all the active expired or the subscriptions which are about to renew as you can see my Canva Pro subscription will be renewed on 22nd of August and my Apple one will be on 26th of August. For the Apple one you can see the price but for the Canva you have to tap on the plan. So for the Apple one, if you click on Apple one you can see I am on a family plan which is 365 monthly. You can cancel all the services and choose the individual service. And you can see both the family plans. In India we do not have Apple one premium so only individual and family plan. So let me show you for Canva. As you can see, you can cancel the free trial here. And when you tap on see all plans, you can see all the plans as I'm on annual plan uh, as that was the one which was giving the free trial. So as you can see, there are two plans for 99 monthly and yearly. So you can simply change it from here as well. When you tap on monthly, you have to authenticate via password or face ID and you will be able to change it. Same goes for the expired ones. As you can see, I have Express VPN and Crunchyroll and Hotstar or Disney Plus. So when you tap on the expired subscription, it will give you the option to renew and you can see all the plans as well. So fan, mega fan and like that. And you can see for other subscriptions as well. So this is how it works for the subscriptions. You can see all the subscriptions like third party or Apple subscriptions except the iCloud one. So let me show you how you can see the purchase history. Uh, when you go to settings, name and then tap on media and purchases, then you will get another pop up. Uh, tap on view account. And when you tap on view account, you will see the purchase history. Uh, you have to authenticate via face ID and you can see all the subscriptions again, but uh, it will be the same menu which you have seen under settings but you click on purchase history and you can see all the purchase history i took the screenshots again because it will show the order id so i purchased some songs from itunes uh, it is for that because i wanted to create a ringtone so this is the king and you can see the balance uh, it is 18 plus you can see the balance which has been used from store credit or apple id funds you can send the invoice uh, by tap on resend. You can see the date of purchase and the billing address and all the details. But if you want to request a refund for that one, when you tap on that purchase, you will see this option, uh, report a problem. And when you tap on that, it will take you to a website, which is reportaproblem.apple.com. Once again, you will have to sign in. Then you can see the name or your Apple ID at the very top. Then at the bottom, you can see the uh, I am looking at the purchases made by me, not by any of the family member. So uh, you can tap on show all purchases and you will be able to see the purchases. So uh, let's say you want to request a refund, you have to select the drop down and you can request a refund. You can report a quality issue or report for a fraud or scam or any app which have uh, content which you do not like like that. And let's say I'm requesting a refund for this song, then I will say I did not mean to buy or whatever the reason you can you want to select. 
then tap on next and you will be able to submit the request and whenever you submit a request from the website it will take 48 hours for the Apple to review your request and let's say if you paid by the card and your request is accepted then your refund will be refunded back or applied back to your card within 30 days in my case uh, it hardly took like three or four uh, working days but whenever i contact apple they say like it will take 30 days for the card for the apple id funds uh, or your store credit or if you have redeemed your gift card then it will take up to 48 hours to reflect bank, uh, back in your account as you can see i have requested two refunds in the past and one is back in february and one is back in march however uh, do note that it is only for the accidental purchases and if you keep on like misusing or requesting refund again and again apple might decline your refund request or disable your account so this is uh when you tap on check the status of your claims so you can see all the refund requests which you have made and by the time i made the video i uh, requested a refund for the other one as well for the canva because i forgot to unsubscribe that one so let me show you and let's say if you want to request a refund for your family members so what are you gonna do on the home page uh, as you can see there is a name or apple id it is my name and when you click on that it will show you all the family members uh, you have to tap on that family members name and you will be able to see purchases made by them as you are the organizer only then you can see that if, uh, and if you are not the organizer for the apple id or family sharing uh, then you won't be able to see the purchases made by the other family members so you can request a refund uh, for them as well if they have used your apple id or your credit or credit card or any mode of payment so now let me show you how you can see the store credit balance or whatever payment method you are using click on settings then tap on name then payment and shipping it might take a while to load then you can see as i have around 5k in my apple id balance 5000 inr and as we no longer uh, we can no longer use credit or debit card in india so you have only upi net banking and basically your apple id balance you can check it in the app store as well you have to open the app store tap on your profile icon and here you go you can see the balance and all the apps which have any pending updates So that's pretty much it for this video. So do let me know if you like this kind of video and if you have any questions. And if you want, I can make more videos on how things work with Apple because I guess most of the people are not aware about that. So if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching this one. And till the next one, stay connected.